Gaming laptops are all the rage, but this thing isn't really a laptop, but it does have some games. This is the VTech Pre-Computer Power Pad. I don't remember how I got this thing or where it came from originally, but it looks gross, so I'm gonna clean it a bit first. There we go. So now we have to turn this thing on. It can be powered by four AA batteries, but I opted for this 12 volt AC adapter I found. It powers up just fine, but be sure to check the polarity of your AC adapter before plugging it in if you go that route. Before we get too far into it, let's take a look at what the laptop has to offer. There is an expansion slot on the left side. I don't have any expansion cards, but they mostly appear to be aimed around educational content. Apparently some types of this laptop have a serial port connection for a printer, but this one didn't have that. The Hackaday website has some detailed information about the specs of this device, as well as some potential modifications that can be done on it. I won't be doing anything fun like that for this video though. The key bed uses a fairly standard QWERTY format, but there are some unique buttons specifically for the power pad. The screen has lists of the content, but most of it consists of false graphics to make it look like an actual operating system. There's a contrast switch, which is a nice addition. Let's turn this thing on. Copyright 1994, 30 years ago. The games are super simple and self-explanatory. The spelling ones are straightforward, but the controls can be kind of confusing to use. There's a lot of buttons on this keyboard that don't do what you think they would compared to modern user interfaces and design. For example, there are left and right keys at the top right of the keyboard, where these would typically be on the bottom right. Anyways, you select the different games and applications with these buttons. You press which one you want to access. One that I find kind of funny is the spell checker. Let's try the word investigate. Working... Correct! That didn't take too long. Let's spell it wrong and see how long it takes to check it. It took around a minute, but sure enough, once we scroll down, we see the correct spelling of investigate. Cool. The calculator calculates, which is about what you want from a calculator. The coolest part about this laptop is that it has a basic code interpreter, which surprised me. It's a cool addition, but it's sort of clunky, and you can't do too much with it because there's no memory or storage on this. But for young kids back in 1994, maybe it taught them the basics of basic. Didn't teach me though, I don't, I'm not good at it. But yeah, that's about it, kind of a short one today. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.